Hello, welcome to Wheel Life, the video diary that helps you to understand what life is like living with an electric unicycle. Now last summer, in an industry that's already developing more quickly than a Polaroid photo, EUC manufacturers came up with a new innovation. Suspension. Kingston were the first with the KS S18, a staggeringly beautiful new type of wheel followed closely by the InMotion V11. And suddenly all our thoughts were about the future of unicycles revolving around suspension. And then came along the Sherman and that switched the conversation back again to speed, power and range. It wasn't going to be long then before Gotway or Bigode dipped their very experienced toes into the water of suspension unicycles. And when they did, they came up with this. And so this is it, Bigode's first attempt at a suspension unicycle. And it is monumental in every sense of the word. What they've done is they've taken Gotway's really impressive back catalogue of unicycles, taken the best bits, added some new innovation, put it into something that looks and feels great, and we've ended up with something really special. And the EX doesn't just compete with other suspension unicycles. When it comes to a game of EUC top trumps, the EX is the ace card in your deck. This is a fast wheel too, with a top speed of about 35 miles per hour. That's more than fast enough for anyone. Certainly people who've got a healthy fear of death or who have experienced high speed crashes in the past. Now, Bigode say the safe cruising speed is about 15 miles an hour, but let's be honest, it's only the infirm or the feeble-minded that will ever ride the EX at those kind of speeds. Now the EX has got a three and a half thousand watt motor. That's a thousand more watts than you get with the M Super Pro and the Sherman. It's 1,300 more watts than in either of the KS S18 or the InMotion V11 suspension unicycles. And that means you've got a wheel here that can take just about anything you can throw at it. And this wheel's got more batteries than the Duracell Bunny. This will easily take you 60 miles, no problem, on one single charge and further if you are looking after it and taking it easy. Now the manufacturer is Bigode. They claim, laughably, this will take you 140 miles. I can only imagine they mean you're gonna put that on the bus for the last 60 of those. But all the same, this wheel has got all the capacity you're ever gonna need. So now I'm just gonna compare the battery capacity of the EX to that of other EUCs. So let's have a look, the King Song, S18 has got 1,110 watt hours. The InMotion V11 has 1,500 watt hours, slightly better. The EX has got 2,700 watt hours. Even the Monster Pro has only got 2,400. The EX is a beast of a wheel when it comes to power and capacity. Now the air suspension is fully adjustable and quite easily too. So you can set it up just how you like it. Now I prefer it quite firmly inflated. So you barely know the suspension's there and that's how you want it really, for me anyway. You don't want a wheel that makes you feel like you're gonna learn how to ride again or if you hit a bump, you're gonna fly into the air like you've landed badly on a trampoline. The suspension is just there so that when you hit a bump, it just cushions it, takes that impact away from your knees unless you keep going and perhaps another unicycle would have tipped you onto the tarmac. And I think it looks good too. Okay, admittedly, it's not as strikingly unusual as the KS S18 or as post-apocalyptic rugged as the Sherman. But you can certainly see its heritage and lineage through the back catalogue of Gotway wheels. And as Henry Ford once said, customers can have them in any colour as long as it's black. It's got a headlamp that looks like it was designed by Tony Stark. The same sort of matte black finish they use on stealth bombers and a charge part so well protected from the elements, you would be excused from thinking you could take it into the shower. So it is quite a 
tall high unicycle. It stands at 615 millimeters. Compare that to the 557 of the KS S18. But I quite like that riding style of having a wheel that sits high between your legs. In fact, if my legs were a bit shorter or I was more well endowed, it'd be like having a coffee table for my plums. And when you stand on the large foot plates, you get a sense of just how solid this wheel really is. Honestly, it's like standing on a snooker table. It's so firm and planted. And the ride it gives you, it's almost like a Bentley-like feel with that suspension, giving you a little cushion of air, allows you to float along and takes those knocks out of the bumps and stones, and allows you to kind of glide along in a kind of a regal sort of fashion. But the handling is not compromised by the suspension. Particularly if you like to carve, then this wheel just allows you to really press your feet down into the foot plates and bank into those bends. And the wheel becomes an unconscious extension of yourself. This is a really beautiful wheel to ride. And the tyre that comes with it is magnificent too. Off-road, it is brilliant. It digs into the dirt and the mud allows you to climb steep hills with confidence. And off-road, there's no compromise there. It just gollops up the miles. It really is a tyre that gives you the best of both worlds. And I wish my review could end there. But let's be honest, nothing is perfect. The first issue I've got is the hollow motor. Now, hollow motors are a relatively new innovation for EUCs. And they will improve as new versions are made. But hollow motors rely much more heavily on bearings. And bearings have got a tendency to fail. The sad news for me is that this wheel has done... 600 kilometers and already the bearings have gone and I've had to replace the motor. Now I'm not sure if the new motor in this is one of the new designs because I understand that Bagode have got a new partner to provide them with the hollow motors and that they're using a better design that is less likely to fail. But the reality is if you're paying big money for a top of the line unicycle you want it, you need it to last. I've got a KS18 XL I must have done more than 3,000 miles on that and it still rides like new I'm just saying now the next issue I've got is the weight of this thing this is like stupid heavy uh, it comes in at slightly over 43 kilograms now compare that to the massive monster pro that's only 35 kilograms and it comes with a pump to inflate the suspension but it should come with a weightlifters belt and a gym membership now I popped my back out lifting this out of the boot of my car and I could barely walk for two days it should have a big health warning stuck to the side of it. If you find yourself approaching a flight of steps with the EX, you, I mean, you're happily, you're just going to ride 10 miles out of your way to find an alternative route rather than to carry it up a flight of steps. Which means this is not the ideal commuter unicycle. I could not imagine myself taking this into London, up flights of escalators, or into places where I'm going to have to carry it. And it has got an, a motor cutoff button under the handle, but to me that is totally irrelevant. I never intend to pick this up, ever. And another issue. This thing doesn't come with a mudguard. I mean, what I'd be going thinking, you tight-fisted bunch of morons. It needs to come with a mudguard. We don't want to turn up at the pub at lunchtime looking like we've just run a rough mud challenge type event. It's like buying a car and then being told it doesn't come with a windscreen. It just does not make sense. And the handle. Okay, it's got a handle, but it's just not nice. It's on one side. It's shaped like a butcher's knife. It's just not easy to hold or to use. And this one doesn't fit properly back down. You've got to kind of encourage it with your fist. And it's not evenly balanced so when you switch it off and try and lean it against a wall you're going to spend five minutes anxiously trying to position it like you're trying to hang an expensive picture in a strong wind it's got two battery packs on one side and one on the other which means the center of gravity is just slightly off and if you lean it against a wall on a flat surface with it powered on it's got a tendency to walk away backwards all by itself so watch out for that too it's only got one charging port and it comes with a 3 amp charger which will charge it from flat to full in about 9 hours. Now you can up that to a 5 amp charger but really a wheel of this size with this much capacity it would be great to have two charging ports just to cut that charging time down a little bit. And it's also got a very handy looking ashtray size cavity under the handle that looks like it's going to hold a pool of water rather nicely indeed too. It does have a digital display. 
but unusually it just gives you a reading of the battery in voltage remaining not the universally accepted and understood language of percentages which we accept is not a precise science but with this you get off and it says 81.6 and you've still got to open an app on your phone and work out what that translates into in percentage and what I don't understand is they've put the display at the back but it's just about impossible to read it while you're riding instead you've got to stop get off read it still be confused open your phone up translate that into something that makes sense before you can carry on your way what we really want is a display at the front of the wheel you can look down it will quickly and easily tell you your speed and your battery remaining keep it simple that's all we need and when it comes to using the app well I can't help you there because Bigode have not yet released an app for Android on the mistaken assumption that the whole world has got an iPhone. So you've got to build into the cost factor of this the purchase of an Apple product too. Now third party apps do work and they work okay but it's like buying a Porsche and then being asked to start it with the keys for a Volkswagen. And then finally there is the price. Yes, you're getting a lot of wheel. Yes, there's a lot of innovation. Yes, your mates are all going to be jealous. But this thing costs just about £3,000. And you can actually buy a really reasonable second-hand car for that kind of money. So there we have it. Not a perfect wheel, but a brilliant wheel all the same. We've now got a wheel that can compete with every other wheel on the market. More than hold its own. And with the added delight of suspension it gives you a sensation of riding that's difficult for me to describe but is an absolute joy to experience and thanks to Bigode we no longer have to wrestle with that difficult decision do we buy a wheel like the Sherman that's got the speed and the power and the range or do we go for a wheel that's got suspension like the V11 or the S18 we've now got the EX that brings together the best of both those worlds so that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope it's been of use to you. If you've liked it, then give me a thumbs up, a like and a subscribe. Please add your comments below and tell me what you think of this wheel or other wheels that you ride. And I'll see you next time on Wheel Life.